the forehead of your robot. Halloween has always been my favorite holiday to begin with. People would go crazy over the fact they serve candy to children with their decently made costumes, and the fact that being scary is enough to make you laugh. There's also cartoons that aired Halloween special episodes, which to me were quite great. I remember an episode of a show that I thought it was a Halloween special. The episode in question is from none other than Danger Mouse, I mean, the original series. If you wanna know what that show was, Danger Mouse is a 1981-1992 British animated series created by Brian Cosgrove and Mark Hall, produced by Cosgrove Hall Films for Thames Television, and it aired on the ITV network during a children's ITV block, now called CITD. It even had a spin-off series that centered around Count Dracula, supposedly one of the villains from Danger Mouse, aired in 1988-1993, in 2015, Danger Mouse now had a reboot for the CBBC channel, formerly Children's BBC, and it ended in early 2019, but the show will still remain on air on the channel to this day. I gotta say, the CBBC reboot was just as good as the original CITV series, though it does have some flaws to it. The story is about a mouse protagonist, simply named Danger Mouse, or DM, who is a secret agent and hero from London and often goes on life-saving, crime-fighting and mystery-solving adventures with his dim-witted and cowardly hamster assistant and sidekick Penfold. Their home was a red post box in the city of London, which to me has a unique set to it. Now, with that crap out of the way, let's get on with the story. This took place around October 21st, 2019, 10 days before Halloween. I was on 4chan, looking at topics and threads about cartoons and their critiques of them. I remember reading a thread about a Red Mist Squidward being implemented in a recently aired SpongeBob SquarePants episode, SpongeBob in Random Land. It did make me laugh and intrigued at the fact that an old creepypasta had a cameo in the official series, but then it soon got removed due to some controversy and so on, I read more cartoon threads, sometimes centered around the amazing world of Gumball, the Line Guard, the Super Mario Brothers Super Show, etc., until I came across a post that relates to the original Danger Mouse show I used to watch as a kid. The OP, whose name I won't show, describes about a dark and disturbing episode that originated from Series 9 or Series 10 in the early 90s. The post said it must be one of those Halloween specials, but we don't know for sure if it had anything to do with Halloween. The supposed episode went by the name, The Great Harvest. The thread included a Mediafire link to an MP4 file, which is the episode itself, so I went ahead and downloaded it, which took me about 10 minutes or so. Once it finished and saved to my downloads folder, I double-clicked the video, and it opened with Pop Player that I have already installed on my computer. The video began with the opening theme from Series 9 and 10, which is similar to the intro used in Series 1 since its first airing. As the theme song concludes, it showed the title card for the episode. There's white text that reads The Great Harvest, and the background was what looked to be a park at night, all dark and foggy, accompanied by the light sources from the lampposts. It didn't help that the music was a disquieting droning noise, something that could be heard in an old horror film of all things. The scene fades to various shots of the city of London at night, foggy and empty, and the narrator began his usual dialogue. London home of the endless lion's share of night shifts. To gather here that it has been a peaceful and foggy night around the city is truly a sight to behold, as the silhouettes of buildings disappear into the mist, creating an ethereal ambience that soothes the souls of all who witness it. Right after the narrator stopped, a woman's blood-curdling scream could be heard echoing off-screen, possibly stock audio from sound ideas. This may seem off-topic, I knew I heard that scream from those YouTube videos, i.e. Nostalgia Critic and SMG4, but it sure gave me chills just by hearing that. The narrator comes back on, shocked about what was going on when that scream was sounded. What's that? It looks like a life-threatening situation has occurred, demanding immediate action to ensure the safety of all individuals involved, without hesitation or compromise. Then, it fades to a shot of the familiar post box on the sidewalk. Now it's up to the world's greatest secret agent, 
Danger Mouse. After that, it fades to the living room of the post box, with Danger Mouse and Penfold comedically arguing about something that has to do with crumpets and how to toast them properly, which kind of made me laugh. Penfold talks about how he's sorry for irresponsibly using the toaster, implying that he set the heat to the max and that causes the toaster to explode. Danger Mouse severely forgives Penfold for his guilt, and that they might get a new one at the appliance store. All of a sudden, an alarm went off from the TV, with the alert screen flashing in colors. Colonel K shows up, grabbing the duo's attention. Colonel was talking about a mysterious and murderous figure that roams around in London during foggy nights, kidnapping and killing innocent people in order to harvest their remains at its home, which was in a barren field of nowhere. I was shocked that this was implied in a kid's show, though Danger Mouse can be dark and scary sometimes, but let's be real. Colonel said that the figure is no other than the Harvester, and he describes that it was a dark-suited man wearing a fedora. He wore a black mask that covers the entirety of his head, his eyes were glowing a pure white, no pupils or anything, and held two sickles in each hand, wearing black gloves. Danger Mouse was honestly intrigued at Colonel's story, responding with the usual, Good grief! And Penfold, for some reason, seemed shocked, says the usual, Oh, it! DM told Penfold that they're on their way to a dangerous mission, in order to stop the mass murderer from going all over the town. Penfold, pretending to be brave, agrees with the offer. The duo then hopped on the couch, and goes down into the danger car. As they drove and fly off into the foggy night, Penfold began his usual banter to Danger Mouse about the Harvester and told him why he's killing a bunch of people, implying that he might be a psycho farmer of all sorts. Danger Mouse gets angry a little bit and scowled the usual, Penfold, shush. Penfold then apologizes as they made it to the home of the Harvester. It was a very large house in the middle of a misty field with crooked trees, almost obscured by the fog. Then the graveyard music began playing, specifically the public domain music used in Ren and Stimpy, which adds to the unsettling nature. As the music blared, the characters got out of the danger car and began to investigate the building. They checked every room in the house, until they reached a large basement, revealing a dreaded sight. The duo both yelled in horror, with Penfold saying, Oh, crumbs! As a stop dramatic impact was heard. In there were a series of dismembered bodies and blood scattered all over the place and hanging on meat books, most of them were characters that appeared in some episodes. There's the two main villains, Baron Silas Greenback and Stiletto, were seen beheaded and lifeless. There's also Miro, Greenback's fluffy pet caterpillar, who is squished to death into a gooey mess. I came to the realization, thinking that why the hell was this aired on children's television to begin with? Shit, I've seen darker and more adult moments in kids' shows and movies like Animals of Farthingwood and Watership Down, but this came across as so brutal, and it etched into my head to this day. Anyway, Danger Mouse is shocked at the sight of his rival's dismembered bodies, even though they don't deserve such a heinous fate for their typical villainous crimes in the series. And so on, Danger Mouse and Penfold began roaming around the basement full of dead bodies and innards all over the room, until they came across an assortment of tools that used to torture and kill off the victims. Knives, machetes, saws, scissors, books, all sorts. As the investigation goes on, they left the house, and were greeted by the Harvester. His appearance is what Colonel K described, a black masked man in a dark suit and fedora, wearing black gloves, had white soulless eyes, holding out two large books in each hand. He was just about the average size as Danger Mouse. DM starts to confront the Harvester, telling him why he has been kidnapping people and murdering them through the foggy night. The Harvester does not talk however, but in response, he lifts his mask up, revealing a face that is pure nightmare fuel. His face looked pale and almost looked like a skeleton, he had bulging and pulsating red eyes, and his wide mouth exposed yellowed teeth and a dark red tongue. He even lets out a scream, which is that same unsettling female scream heard from the beginning of the episode. Danger Mouse screamed in fright and fear as he fell down to the ground, panting like crazy. He gets up before the Harvester tries to slice DM's head off, but then dodges. Both Danger Mouse and Penfold ran out screaming and yelling as the Harvester chases after them. A tense horror chase score is now heard playing in the background. 
This goes on for around 10 seconds, until the harvester threw one of his sickles toward Penfold, which then he was stabbed in the head, causing him to bleed out and die. Danger Mouse, all horrified, witnessed his best friend and assistant's death, causing him to cry out his name and become enraged. With all his might, he ran to the danger car and starts it up, ready to roadkill the harvester. Alright you murderous fiend, this is for Penfold. DM shouted with a voice of rage and bravery. He drives off and then ran over the harvester, heading toward the house which breaks apart by the impact of the danger car. Danger Mouse quickly got out of the car, as it bursts into flames. The harvester is still alive, but damaged by the car crash, tries to slice and stab Danger Mouse to death in a fit of rage. DM dodges the murderer's attacks, and with bravery, Danger Mouse pushes the harvester into the fire, causing him to burn alive. He lets out a series of blood-curdling screams, which were obviously that chilling female scream audio from Sound Ideas. Danger Mouse quickly escapes the burning wreckage until the house exploded, and the harvester has finally died. DM was panting frantically, and then immediately goes over to his now dead hamster sidekick Penfold. Very dark and depressing public domain music began playing during this scene. Danger Mouse knees to the ground, stares at poor Penfold's body in a puddle of cartoon blood, and began sobbing like he'd never sobbed before. The narrator returned during this scene, but this time, his tone is very saddened. And so, London is safe from the carnage. But for our world's greatest secret agent Danger Mouse, he lost his faithful assistant Penfold, who had been struck in the head by the now dead serial killer. While the narrator tried to keep talking, he began breaking into a sobbing fit. He kept on crying realistically as the scene fades to the normal credits, with the usual theme song playing in the background. As the credits concluded, it showed the original copyright date stating, 1990. After that, the video ended. I was appalled, but yet frightened and depressed at the same time. Why was this episode made to begin with? I guess it must have been some horror parody episode on Danger Mouse, but the animation style and voices for it were just as the same as in the original series. Maybe it could have been a series finale that got scrapped due to how dark and messed up it is. And just to let you know that I watched it at night, with the lights off. I grabbed my phone and called out Cosgrove Hall Films, but I got a message telling me that the company was defunct since 2009. Well, this raised me more questions about this episode, and now I've deleted it from my computer, trying to forget what the fuck did I just watched. Surreal nightmares had plagued my sleep for weeks, though they were very, very hard to describe. Sometime later, I checked the 4chan post about the atrocious episode of Danger Mouse, and I found out that it has been deleted due to violation of terms of service, and the OP being terminated from the platform. Along with that, the Mediafire link has been deleted. Needless to say, I could have had the opportunity to find that episode anywhere, either on IMDb or Wikipedia, to no avail. I may have one question. Have you ever experienced watching this episode as a kid, either on TV, VHS or DVD? Were you traumatized and dreaded by the gore and unsettling imagery being implemented in that episode? If so, let me know the details and backstory of it 